everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas. And uh, today, as you can see, I'm chilling. And I have my, <laughs> my Hannah Montana mug, uh, which is my daughter's from way back in the day. You know how you keep coffee mugs forever. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys kind of about, and I know I haven't been on as of late, but um, you know how it is, work. You know, it calls you away. This is a hobby when I do these videos. So work has called me away a little bit, you know, but uh, I thought I'd do an update video because I have been working on my aquaponic system and um, I think it's coming along pretty good. I got tomatoes coming in, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I actually am trying, um, I mean, I don't know if this would be considered aeroponics, um, but I think it is. I think it's, it's, uh, it's it seems to be aeroponics to me everything that I've looked up about it so far um, so what I ended up doing was I ended up trying to set up um, you know on the, the other videos that I have uh, and I'll put the playlist on here for the Dutch bucket system that I built um, I basically have all these buckets set up to where I can grow um, larger root plants uh, like tomatoes and pumpkins and you know different stuff like that you know like squash and stuff like that way that way I can keep the root systems in the buckets um, but I did run into one issue with one of them I'm, I'm growing loofahs right now um, I think I pronounced it right loofah or loofa or something the stuff that girls and some guys be using you know to scrub and um, you know I'm growing those in there and the root system was so big that it ended up clogging my uh, Dutch bucket. Um, so I don't know if that's gonna end up being a problem for the tomatoes, but the tomatoes have already gotten pretty big. So I don't know if it's gonna be an issue. But um, I set up one of those Dutch buckets as an aeroponic system, or as an aeroponic bucket, basically. And I'll show you that in a minute here, but then I wanted to test that small scale and then crank it up to a barrel and see how it would work because I want to grow potatoes um, in a, a sort of an aeroponic situation. Now I know a lot of guys out there uh, in YouTube land um, have tried to grow potatoes. Uh, sweet potatoes is one of them that's coming to mind with uh, Rob Rob's Bob. Um, you know his aquaponic system. He grew sweet potatoes, which I know some of you out there have seen that video. Uh, and it was really interesting because the tubers that were inside of his system, um, they did okay, but they weren't as sweet as the other tubers that, you know, they grew over basically and then grew down and into the soil around his aquaponic system. And those seemed to be sweeter when he did a taste test on them. Uh, I want to try potatoes. I love potatoes or potatoes, right? And um, I'm already growing them in a potato tower, which I know I haven't... I don't think I've given you guys a video on that either. Um, but basically that's how I'm growing them now. I'm growing them in a, um, a, a potato tower and I basically build it up and add soil to it. And you know what, that video is actually gonna come out later. I'm just waiting for Harvest to finish the video off. But um, I'm growing it in the tower uh, and I fill it in with soil. But this idea, I looked it up because uh, I thought, you know what, I want potatoes from the aquaponic system. How do I do that? Potatoes are a lot more sensitive to um, to water. Um, I mean, that's my limited knowledge on them. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to try it to grow them in a um, an aeroponic situation with my aquaponic water. So I want to show you guys the barrel uh, that I set up. First, I'll show you guys the little bucket that I set up first, and then I'll show you basically how I cranked up the size of it into the barrels or into a barrel so uh, without further ado let's uh, go ahead and check out the rest of this video and tell me what you guys think obviously leave comments in the comment section below questions below um, anything you guys can think of um, leave those comments and stuff in the section below and you know share the video if you if you think this might be cool for other people or it might help someone um, to grow their own food in their own backyard, share it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's check out those buckets or this, uh, this aeroponic uh, potato tower. So <laughs> let's go for it. Anyway.
All right, so these are my Dutch buckets, and as you guys have seen them in other videos, and um, I am growing Sweetie Pot pumpkins in that one, and then I'm growing Roma tomatoes in this one here. I'm growing absolutely nothing in that one other than little succulents. And then this one's almost to the roof line here. Okay, I just tied it up with some string. And uh, these are kind of, these are my favorite tomatoes right here. Let me set this down so you guys can see this one. That's my camera fix. These are actually green zebra tomatoes. And they are grown on what ah, Bruce Lee's favorite drink. What ah? So it's nutrient rich. What ah, though? See? And uh, yeah, they're growing pretty good. Here's some more up here. See? And then even higher. See? More right there. So you can see it can grow a pretty extensive plant and it can grow um it can grow basically food tomatoes so i decided that i want to try potatoes so in order to do that i need to start testing different stuff and i basically left one of my dutch buckets empty uh basically when i say empty i didn't put that uh clay the clay pebbles in it okay and so this is that bucket and so what I did was I just took a cutting of my tomato plants that I currently have. Uh, I think this is a Roma cutting. And uh, I put it in, in here probably about five days ago or so. And uh, at first it was drooping and see it, it died off just a little on the leaves. But it's starting to bounce back now. And uh, there's a couple things that I wanted to point out just as an observation. Um, when I basically put this in there, there was very short root systems. Uh, they were probably about that long, okay? So when I put these, uh, when I put this in here, uh, it had very short root system, okay? So um, that was one of the things that I observed is that the root system just got, sort of growing like really fast. Uh, so much so that it's reaching the bottom of the bucket. Now if you can see the roots themselves, they are looking like they're starting to get covered in algae. So what I might end up doing is I might end up putting some shade cloth or something around the, the bucket. Um, but I do have snails down in the bucket here to eat a lot of the algae. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to test it this year and I'm just going to see how it goes. Um, so that was one observation is that the root system grew really quickly. Okay, And what I have basically is I have the water spraying directly onto the um, the little pot that's in here see the little pot I have it spraying on that and it splashes around it okay so that was one of the things that I noticed is that the root system grew really fast but then also if you look a little closer at it it was just these main big roots okay but over the last two days these finer hair roots have been coming off okay and these longer ones are just getting longer, but these fine white hair looking ones, they started growing in over the last few days. And so I thought, huh, that's kind of different. You know, I, I, I don't know how they grow under the soil because you never see it, right? So, um, so I'm gonna let this go the way it is. Um, there's no sense in fixing the algae issue if the snails can eat the algae um, and not mess too much with the plants and not breed too much. So. That is the test bucket, basically. And that brought me to this big dog. And this is what I want to put my potatoes in, okay? That is the whole thing here. Let me see if I can get a better shot of this. All right, so that's basically the whole thing. Um, and it's connected. Sorry about the camera work, I'm not a cameraman. It's connected here, so I have same same kind of concept as the Dutch buckets. Watch the videos at the end of this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the playlist for the Dutch buckets because um, I do a build on there. But basically, um, I just connected it to the barrel here, and then I connected it to the same drain lines as the Dutch buckets, and then it goes into my back into my sump tank over there. So um, I'm gonna take it down so you guys can get a better look on the inside and the top and all that stuff. So let me do that. All right, so. This is basically 
the a huge basically Dutch bucket, I guess, with no gravel in it, okay? Uh, or no grow media. So um, what I did was I cut a probably about a four and a half inch hole. I had to I had to basically <laughs> really get <laughs> I had to use a jigsaw and everything. I used a four inch and then I used a jigsaw. But what you probably want to do is use something a little bigger. And then I got uh, a five inch net pot. So when you're cutting your hole, just make sure that you get something to where the five inch net pot will fit almost all the way down, but not quite all the way down. Um, so I got the net pot in there. And, um, and then I basically, instead of removing these caps, I basically just cut a hole, drilled a hole right through here. And then I added these. Um, they're basically just little uh, 360 degree spray nozzles. Um, that you can get from Home Depot, Lowe's, or whatever. Um, if I sold them, I'd sell them. Uh, you know, I, I might put a link to them. I don't know. So you guys can buy stuff from me on uh, Amazon, but <laughs> trust me, it's not enough for me to really uh, go through too much of a hassle. Um, but I'll do it for you guys if you guys appreciate it, obviously. Um, but anyway, so I got those. And then um, I got the lid to where... And this is kind of important, you guys. Um, when you guys are doing this, make sure that this lid does not fit over the outside um, of your barrel. So make sure the lid doesn't fit over the outside because if you do, as water evaporates, it's just gonna drip right outside the barrel. So you want this top part of the lid to seat inside the barrel, okay? So that's the way I have it and it's a tight fit but that's the way I'm running it. And so if you look, I have this one, it's a little shorter, and then this one's a little longer. So the, 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 the thing about that is, is that what, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that this, this one right here takes care of the roots as they're sprouting from the net pot, right, right in here. As they're sprouting up higher, the water spring right there, okay? Then this other one, as the roots grow and they get longer, this one will cover another half of it. But I think that might be kind of redundant um, I mean, you guys can tell me what you think, but I think just putting them both way up at the top, sorry if I'm not pointing at stuff right, uh, put it, putting the, these nozzles just way up at the top, like both of them, kind of like that, they're going to spray everything all the way down. So I think having them at different lengths is kind of, kind of redundant now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so that's the lid. Not much to it, you know? Um, and then on the inside of the barrel, let me move this back a little so you guys can see a little better in there. And you know what, I'm at to lean this in. All right, here we go. So you see that? I basically set it up exactly the way I set up the Dutch buckets. There's a little 90 degree elbow pointing down to the bottom. And then as the water rises, it comes up that 90 and then it comes out and out the other end of that and into the drain okay so basically it's just like the dutch buckets but it's bigger so um i'm call calling it aeroponics because there's going to be so much air in here um mixed in with the moisture that i'm hoping the potatoes can grow and grow long and strong so i'm going to set it up again and i'm going to try to get some footage on the inside so you guys can see how it's working and how I set up the water, but um, there's nothing to it really. So I'm, I'm more curious to get questions and, and maybe some answers on what I might not be thinking about that you guys are thinking about. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section, obviously. All right, so now for the inflow of the water. Sorry about the camera. I just, you know what, I'm not a cameraman. So um, anyway, I'm coming off the main uh, pump that I have in my sump tank over there coming off right here and it's going right to this junction here where I have the water set up to come this way on my my um, Dutch buckets and now I have a little T there and I go off to here with a little ball valve and it comes up and I haven't even tied all this stuff down yet you guys so um, I was really excited to show you but basically that's what I got okay so it looks complicated to me uh if there's a better way to keep the pressure too that would be great but 
I want to turn it on and I want to show you guys kind of what it looks like more inside the barrel. And basically how it works is you put this there, put a little grow media in there instead of having the whole bucket and let it rip. So let's go ahead and let's take that off now though. Let's go ahead and turn on the water. And immediately I heard some water down in there. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so you see that? See the water is spraying in there. See I tell you, it's not, it's not a very good view. But you know what, that's what it is. So anyways, um, so it sprays in there. You know, you know what I really need help with you guys? I mean, I got a pretty strong pump and it just does not seem to be really like spraying water in there, you know? Like I want it to spray and it's a 360 degree um, sprayer. So that tip on there, but it sprays out a steady stream. So maybe I need to get something else or how do I increase the pressure? So anyway, that is the, I guess, aeroponic uh, potato tower. So that's connected to my aquaponic system. And there we go, we finally focused. So now I have my Dutch buckets and then I have something to test for big old potatoes. Of course I got my zip grow towers and I got my two beds back there and my three half barrels over there. I did a whole series of videos on how I built these and how I built the stands and everything. That's what I'll do. Dutch buckets, I'll put the playlist for that and the playlist for how to build these, these uh, grow beds in the back. So anyways, uh, hopefully that helps you guys. Not rocket science, really easy build, uh, really easy to connect. Just gotta get all the parts. So anyway, God bless you guys. And like always, peace. Uh-oh. <laughs> there is a mockingbird over there messing with my cat. Um... <laughs>